you. If we're recording now, I started Entourage. Oh, you did? Yeah, well, I was like, I got to do something. What I don't like already, and this is probably just because I'm spoiled by 2022, is that the, yes, the story goes in order, but uh-huh. they're not tied. I'm I'm now addicted to- Oh, it's to, not serialized. Yeah. I never really watched it other than the last like few episodes. Yeah, now it. I'm addicted to all the story, like being a eight hour movie. Right, right. I'm addicted to that, Yeah, I think. You like serialized shows as opposed to- Yeah, episodic. Episodic, yeah. yeah. And these are, these are, these are tied. Like yeah. they, it's very, it is linear, but it, it hops a lot. It's more, and I think that's an issue with my 90s sitcom-y vibe. Like mm-hmm. I already did all that. I've done that. Yeah, I didn't say this when we were talking to Joe, but uh, I I did see Jeremy Piven in person one time. He was um, smoking a cigarette in the parking lot of the the comedy store in L.A. He had uh, it was he on um, what was the show with Rogan? Was he on that? Not Fear Factor, like the real no, one. Uh-uh. No, no news Piv- radio. Yeah, no. No, was Piven's big break this or he had other shit. Uh, Piven's big break was this, but he had yeah. other shit. Because I know Piv- the other guys, a lot of them. Piven is the helicopter pilot in Black Hawk Down. Oh, that's interesting. That doesn't like fit. In no, my head, in my head, he's really, I think he's really fucking good in yeah. that. I don't know. That's yeah. just and he's good in this too. Yeah, and he was previously known as being John Cusack's like best childhood best friend. Oh, I didn't know that. Because a lot of these guys, I feel like, yeah, their break was kind of here, and then they do little roles in a new shit. Yeah, and he who's did- the main guy? The pretty boy. Uh, I feel like he didn't do it. Kevin Dillon. I don't know. Yeah. See, I don't know. We're, we're gonna find out. But. And he's supposed to be Mark Wahlberg, ish. Yeah. Well, and Wahlberg is a executive producer, right? But that, and he's on the show. Something. That's like. what I've heard, though. Right? Like the yeah. the show's based on Wahlberg, basically. Yeah, basically. Not entirely. Right. But, but like loosely ish. Yeah. Even though these kids are from New York and he was from Boston, right? Yeah. But similar. Yeah. They they vibed it off of his life. I'm lying. It's Kevin Connolly, I think. See. Yes, yeah. I don't know if he's in like a shit ton of stuff I know after this. Although he's good in this too. Oh, it is good. Like it is up my vibe, like you guys said. It's it's like funny, they're kind of douchey, but they're they're like innocently douchey, you know? Yeah. It seems like if I mean if it was done actually now, and that's kind of what Ballers was. Ballers is, yeah. is is football entourage. Yeah. Um but I don't understand why not. I watched the first season of Ballers. I didn't hate it. Uh, you know what? I, I didn't watch the end of it, but I mostly did like it. it it's obviously very um, superficial, um, yeah, and very rock oriented. And I know what the what a problem that is for you. But, yeah, um, that's the only thing probably in the rock that I like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. that show fits because he's kind of playing a douche. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay, Kevin Connolly. Yeah, he's um. Uh, yeah, Adrian Grenier. Oh no, Adrian Grenier is who I'm thinking. Oh, okay, Vincent Chase. Yeah, Adrian Grenier. Uh, I don't know that name, so he must not be in it. Kevin show. Dillon is in a bunch of it. Too. Yeah, Johnny Drama. Yeah, yeah. All this is good. I liked it all. Uh, Again, it's like uh, I think they're they're obviously douchebags, and I don't stamp my name on a lot of their behavior and things they say. But it's like you know they they're not like malicious douchebags. Yeah, Scott Kahn is in this. Scott Kahn, um, famously in, yeah. in all of the um, Oceans movies. Yeah, he's also is he in a Rat Race or one of those? He kind of looks like one of those. Yeah, guys. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and his dad just died. Yeah, all these guys are in little stuff, but the show's good. I I do like stuff like that. But if it was uh, like you said, like if it was all wrapped up in a nice ball, I would like it a lot more. Yeah, if it was a if it's an ongoing story. Yeah, and it's still good. Yeah. And obviously, everyone out there's probably already seen it. Now that we're reviewing movies that are twenty years old. Uh, yeah, Isn't and wild twenty years old, dude. I'm fucking old. <laughs> I was in high school. Oh, when Entourage was on. Yeah, twenty years ago. That's nuts. I was a freshman in high school in oh uh, oh four. Yeah, and then we're about to be twenty twenty three. Still, same shit. No, I, yeah, I think my freshman year was oh, oh three, oh four. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. This when Seabass was born. Yeah, I don't want to think about that. Any Seabass of that. Our, our, our fucking <laughs> videographer was born in like oh one. <laughs> Kid missed Y two K. Fuck. <clears throat> yeah, you stupid fucks out there been listening to me for twelve years. It, it, yeah. Get fucked. You lost. <laughs> we won. Gotcha. That's a got him. Yeah, sorry. Uh, welcome to One Good Question. Every Friday, we answer your questions from our community Discord. We need to name that. Maybe you guys go into Discord, and you can name yourselves, and we'll vote on it. Like, we'll community name to name you guys. Yeah, and I, I got to ask about badges, and I think that yeah, we're, we're going to figure that it. out. We'll yeah. figure that it's out. It's a little nerdy because it's new, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, I, got, I deal with so many nerdy IT challenges 
constantly relative to this business yeah. that that one more sometimes seems like a lot. So if I can stick somebody else on that. Yeah, I can ask my boy Profit. He might know too. But yeah. so uh, if you guys go in there, um, go to 50percentfacts.com. We have a, a link and you can join our Discord. It's our private community. It's our private server. All it is is good company. And what you guys can do is join the group chat. We got a couple tabs on the left. Think of it as somewhere in between WhatsApp and like an old school forum. You can chat. We always hanging out. Me and Jim are in there chatting. On the left, there's a couple uh, uh, groups, big group chat, and then there's one good question. Go in there, ask your one good question. It could be anything you want. If you are selected, we will give you um, a gift from 3SB, Good Company, Third Street Barbell. If you're part of the Discord in general, you're going to see exclusives. You're going to get behind the scenes. You're going to get to chat and, and join a like-minded community. And then the newest thing, what I need you to do, and I'll type it in there too, is everyone like throw a name in there. And then we'll vote on it. We'll have everybody throw an emote and which one gets the most votes. That'll be now the new community name. Um, today's question, which is pretty good, actually. Um, it is. I'll be the judge of that. How do you balance your personal private life from good company, YouTube, social media? I don't know. Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, um, I can tell you one thing that that has happened over time, and that's <clears throat> excuse me, I share less of my life on social media than I used to. Yeah. And I was never particularly enthusiastic about it, but I really pulled back. So I feel like people don't like, unless they're paying attention to the show or whatever, they, they have less of an opportunity to connect with me on stuff. I do talk to, to quite a few people on social media and have good, you know, right. but it's, but it's pro it's not as nearly as many as it used to be. And I think it's in part because I just sort of pulled back because I don't have, necessarily the bandwidth for it yeah it's hard and and the business just takes up so much of my mind and a lot of people and this is not a criticism because i understand but a lot of people um they just want to know about things that happened in the past yeah that i that i'm sometimes open to talking about and other times not open to talking about it just depends on where my mental state is with it at the time and so you know i would i don't know that's just the nature of social media and, and like the most innocent form is every day I get a question asking what belt I use. And so like you escalate that into private life stuff right. and it just gets annoying. Yeah. And it's not on any of you. It's because how social media works, not everyone sees every post, not everyone hears every right. podcast, not everyone watches every video, they'll right. watch every other, every third or whatever. And so like repeating yourself becomes a thing. And when you repeat yourself on something that whether you love it, it's private, you know, be, being vulnerable on the internet is something that I think we've um, done early and well, and mm -hmm. that's why we have an, you know a community and an audience. But that doesn't make it easy as a human. So then you're asking me the same question to be vulnerable every single day. Mm -hmm. That takes more energy than it does to tell you about my belt every day. To answer you, I use an Inzer is easy. That takes no emotional. That takes no mic. It mm -hmm. takes no mic far. Mm -hmm. it, that's silent mic saying, hey, this is a belt I use. When you're asking about a past relationship, uh, an ex-girlfriend, uh, uh, pure even money. Yeah. When you're talking about money of the business because we put our hearts into this business. We, all those things. And I'm not saying to stop asking. We no, want to share. But the point is I can't always give that every day. Yeah, and I, we don't always have the best answers every day either. So anyway, that's, that's, that's a piece of it for me. Part of it too is like I've got – uh, there's only so much separation you can make because the, we're, right. you know, we're responsible for this thing all the time. Yeah. And, you know, it's not that like, you know, we've got Kyle running the gym and whatever, but like he's not, um, because he's not an owner, he doesn't have all of the information that we have. Right. Or all the decision. He doesn't all, have decision making power. He doesn't have the decision making power. Goes. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's just how it is. Yeah. And, uh, like my family is from, in from Canada for two weeks. And theoretically, I would have everything done so that I wouldn't, I could really be off and not have to deal with it. But that's really, that's not been, been possible. The yeah. last few weeks have all had a bunch of other things going on as well. And I have to go back and forth in the course of a day. And, and, you know, in reality, there isn't a day that goes by that I'm not thinking about what I need to do here or what I could do here or what we could do yeah, but that's or just opportunities the that may be passing us by or mistakes that, you know. Yeah, that's the difference between working for somebody else and working for yourself. That's yeah. something you can never escape. Even yeah. if you scale to the umpth degree, that's how it goes. And in terms of like in terms of, of like YouTube, social media, or not social media, but uh, the, the show itself, um, 
it's not hard to do the show. What's hard to do is is to schedule the show yeah. and uh, come up with you know if we're going to do a guest and then the the logistics around that and um, but having things to talk about, sitting down and talking about it, we've done it for almost fucking ten years now. So it's not th- that part's not hard. Yeah, it's pretty unconscious. I would say uh, I was talking to a friend yesterday who does similar things for a living podcast Instagram and I was telling her like uh, she's like well, like what do you do for fun lately. Like, are you doing anything cool? And I was just like, dude, because of COVID and then because of this, like, my personal, quote, unquote, life is just nothing. You mm-hmm. know, like, I'm here and and my mental energy because anxiety and whatever is so, is so like, it's so easily drainable. Mm-hmm. And it's always, like Jim said, the battery's always on. We're always plugged into thinking. Like, it sounds dumb and, you know, like, how much do you work? I'm like, well, I'm always thinking or, like, I'm always googling something or i'm always you know something to try to advance whatever needs to be done whether i'm physically working so that battery is on constant drain mode Mm -hmm. and so when i don't have that the rare weekend i have nothing i'm literally on the couch or like i'll play three hours of video games like that's kind of it for the last three or four years so like sharing the private life (laughs) is easy (laughs) there's nothing to do you have have Uh, nothing over like the 12 years of doing this, there's only like two like rules I kind of made to myself. Like I'm not going to share obviously like locationy dangerous things. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wasn't going to share my mom too much. Mm-hmm. Um, even though we had her on the podcast and I mm-hmm. talk about her and the world knows plenty about her, but you know what I mean? Like the real private shit. Um, and then any kind of like dating stuff One, I'm just kind of private in general, like some of the homies don't know. Uh, and I would never like, I don't know what you kids say out there, but there's, I guess, talking, dating together, whatever the fuck all that mm-hmm. is. Like, we're not we're not going to bring on a lady until it's, like, wifey. Then she can come on the podcast right. or on the vlog. Yeah. But, like, a couple dates or whatever, whatever, they're not going to just hop in my Instagram. Because it is, like, a business. And it is me. Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to lie about it. or And it's not, <clears> like, a shady thing. It's not like I'm fucking dating 100 million people. I have no private life. But you know what I mean? Like, that is... Um, because those people don't choose this. Yeah. Right? Like, my mom ch- chose to have a son right. and raise a son. She didn't right. choose to raise a public figure. Yeah. And, like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't post pictures of my grandkids very much. And yeah. if I do, it's in something like Instagram story that goes away. Yeah. Because they don't need that. Yeah. And they did, probably didn't choose that life yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, and, and I only chose it to the extent that I want right. to produce content. But you control not, it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, so we can cut this part out yeah. if if we need to because I have complete control of that. However, this is a thing that 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 um, because I was answering a question with, with somebody about about the old show, and I know that we used to say that it was just pretty much our regular conversations, but heightened yeah. a little bit, yeah, yeah. you know, and so it was reflective of our real lives. And what I have come to think is that that's actually true now. And I think that back then, uh, our our real lives and the show were very close to each other, but in a different way. They were more performative uh, than than we are now. I, for me personally speaking, I would say they're the same, but I get more elevated the more people are in the room. Okay. Right. So in the past show, we would always like minimum have like four people. Right. And so I'm feeding off energy. So I'm blasting. Yeah. But it was still, I would say, an elevated mic. And then now we just do more shows where it's me and you. So my volume's just on six instead of nine. Yeah. But I would say, I would say I'm, I feel pretty much the same on those. And then the other thing with that, and I was, I listened to a lot of, uh, obviously the Rogans and shit and the Andrew Schultz's and stuff. A lot of guys that dominate the podcast scene, not that I listen to a lot of podcasts, but I see clips, um, are comedians. Yeah. And, uh, and they always talk about like needing an arsenal, right? Mm-hmm. To, to write their next bit. They can't be, and Andrew Schultz talks about it a couple of times where he moved to Miami mm-hmm. and it's, he suffered. And he jo- makes it turns it into jokes. He's fucking good at what he does. But uh, he says like he's like, dude, everybody there's happy. Everyone's uh, uh, they're they're fucking they love music and dancing, yeah, yeah. and everyone's smiling. And everyone's yeah. he's like, how am I supposed to write jokes about this? This is great. So he moved back to New York. He's like, I need people that are pissed off at shit so that <laughs> I, I can mi- poke I need misery so I can poke fun at your misery yeah. and, and argue you and shit. Um, 
And I felt like my life then, again, because of COVID and, and starting the brick and mortar. Yeah. It's not starting a business because I've had multiple businesses. It's brick and mortar is a whole new animal to me. It's that um, has made my life more routine. So there's just like less bullshit for me to kind of be pissed and talk shit on. That's uh-huh. probably why I'm talking shit on these illegal plates week after week because <laughs> that's the shit that's popping up in my head where during that era of my life, I was traveling every other weekend. Right. And so I just had shit going on. You know, I had a crazy Uber driver. So we, yeah. I would come on and tell a crazy story about a crazy Uber driver or whatever the fuck. That's just a little bit less, although that's getting turned back on, right? Like the next probably five weeks i'm traveling every other weekend again so shit will be crazy again maybe or like with last joe i had more shit to talk you know like i i think i'm fairly similar but um yeah but what i share is different too like i did buy a house to vlog in it and i barely vlog at home not for any reason yeah just because i'm here a lot right and so it makes sense to vlog here but i think i'm an open book um for me but will never share yeah kind of the dating side until they you know sign up for it and then probably never mom. She just, I mean, even though she likes it, like she was going to start a YouTube channel and shit. She loved being on the podcast. But yeah. It's, and she lives half an hour away. I don't see her every day. But yeah. um, I think those are the only rules for me, I think. Yeah. I, well, I think maybe what, what we're uh, honing in on in, in, from what you're saying is that like we were just around a lot more people and the 100, 100% being yourself when you're around that many people, even you know, if they're not cameras rolling, although there might always be camera, cameras rolling or whatever, it it does make things more performative because you're more on. And and I think by who, you, and maybe this is fucking getting out there, <clears throat> I think who you are, uh, not to get weird with your kids, is like a spectrum, yeah. right? Like you have serious friends that you do serious shit with. Yeah. And then you have goofy friends where you only do goofy shit with. Yeah. So like Jim said, we almost had too, so much stimulus of different types of people around us daily that within I would stay within who I am of these large walls. Yeah. But my my meter would switch more. Yeah. Where now the stimulus I get from other people, I'm more in my pocket. I'm in a pocket. Yeah. And my stimulus comes out different ways or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and I think too, like um like there's some friends you just don't joke with. Yeah. And then there's some yeah. friends you only joke with. Yeah. And so now we're yeah, we're meeting a different YouTube fitness person every week yeah i'm vibing off of them a little bit so i'm within who i am but the vibe may yeah i mean you're very more yeah it, to, so, than it say, does now when i say performative it means kind of like you're playing yourself instead of being yourself yeah yeah and so that i feel like that that that's that was the norm before yeah. whereas now this this is just this is kind of just us yeah or yeah because even if you go to the barbara brigade talk show that we've been doing <clears throat> there's certain episodes where i'm way goofier yeah because I because I can feel Bart's energy and I'm fucking flying off him. Yeah. Or like our guest is serious so that I'm trying to coach and be serious with them, you know? And there, mm-hmm. again, there's more people in the room and then I feed off that energy and I roll. And then the, the, the two camera guys, uh, Justin and Nadim, are kicking it. Mm-hmm. The production team's in the room. So now there's six people for me to try to make laugh, you mm-hmm. know? And I, it, that becomes a game for me. Right. Rather than it's me and you. And yeah, I want to make you laugh, but we also yeah. just have talks. Yeah. Yeah. We're alone in this room yeah. right now. Yeah, there's no one here. There's nobody here. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, normally we at least have have um, my son running the video board, but um, these short episodes, it's, it's not really necessary yeah. to have multiple cameras. Yeah, yeah, it's a little more monologue. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we, if you have shared as much as I can, share. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> join the Discord, fifty percentfacts dot com. Um, we're gonna vote on a, a team name there, and then we'll also get going on more questions if you want to join that 3sb.co new launch happening mid-august be sure to stay tuned teases are already on instagram follow us there third street barbell and we'll catch you every wednesday friday and if uh if this episode releases when i think it's going to you can catch us this weekend the 13th and 14th in santa clara at the power fest which is a us apl meet thrown by warcat and also a powerlifting expo also thrown by warcat um a rising powerlifting gym in the uh in the bay area and i am at thj mcd on all the social media this show 50 percent facts four percent is a word 50 just numbers this show is a spreaker prime podcast on uh in association with iHeartMedia on the obscure celebrity network and we will talk to you next week this is-